So I'm starting this introduction like halfway through my day. So hi, welcome, thanks for watching. Um, my question for you to comment below today is if you still drink milk? Because in my generation, it's kind of a thing of the past. They think it's not trendy, not cool to drink cow's milk. But I personally love cow's milk. I know a lot of you on here grew up drinking milk with every meal. So if you still do, let me know. If you don't drink milk, what is your favorite dairy product? And if you think you can't drink milk because you're lactose intolerant, I think you're wrong because there are a lot of lactose free options out there for milk. And I like to always pass along the information because people think when they're lactose intolerant, they can't have dairy products ever again, which is not true. A lot of cheeses out there have no lactose in it. So there's a lot of options for you. If you are lactose intolerant, um, try them out. But for now, comment below if you still drink milk, you're still an OG. shot today and they're getting preg checked. They are cleaning out the lagoon. That lagoon, I think it holds like three million gallons of manure. So it takes a while to empty and a while to fill. But in New York State you have to have, um, if you're a certified CAFO, you have to have a, enough manure storage to get you through the winter if you need to. And the reason why he's using the uh, excavator is because there's solids at the bottom. Because we bed with all sands, and the sand goes to the bottom of the manure pit and it can't pump out as easy, so we have to like dredge for it. Also, I'm not really feeling the best today. I have like a little low grade fever, as you call it. I think it's because of like allergies, maybe, as my mom said. I hope so, because I really don't want to be sick, especially when it's nice out like this. I want to be out and doing things. Claudia and I were talking about it the other day. I always kind of feel bad during like spring and summer because she's always like go, 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 
and then she's like, don't feel bad because the whole winter, I barely had to do anything while you were working the whole winter. And it's true, like I have to work all year round, but they have to work like super hard during, you know, planting and harvest season. So it all evens out. The reason why we are doing that is because cows, when they poop, they're gonna poop at the end of their stalls. And they're also gonna have their udders near the end of their stalls. So we don't want any of that manure touching their teats because that will cause mastitis. So we pull some fresh sand and cover the manure to prevent any infections. And if you didn't know, mastitis is an infection in the teats and the udder. And farmers do not want that because then your somatic cell count goes up, not good. So our biggest goal, one of our biggest goals, is to prevent mastitis. Here's an update on Beth. She is looking amazing. If you guys don't remember from my last video or whatever video that was, she was our cow that almost died, but we gave it our all and we saved this girl's life. You can see she's standing on all four legs. Before she was like three-legged because her foot was so messed up. But now she's doing great and she's like, um, excuse me, you need to clean out my water tub, please. Claudia brought a grilled cheese because it's National Grilled Cheese Month. So we're getting a picture to post on Instagram because everyone should enjoy grilled cheese during this month. So if you haven't already, make yourself a nice, hot, delicious grilled cheese. It's cold and <laughs> My favorite saying is, if you wouldn't want to drink out of it, why would your cows want to? Let me go see if I would want to drink out of that water trough. Absolutely not. So I need to clean this because it's not fair that I get clean drinking water and you guys don't. That's a lot better. See it's automatically filling up. of hot water so that's really important they drink a ton of water on these hotter days excuse me ladies beep beep a cow should actually drink up to a bathtub full of water per day and if it's a hot day like today they should be drinking more than that that may sound like a lot to you but these are really big 1500 2000 pound animals so they require a lot more water. Recently, I've been trying to drink a gallon of water a day, and that's a lot for me. So we have three of these automatic waters. I really like the kind that I've seen on 10th generation farmers, dairy farmers. 10th generation dairyman, that's what his name is. He has the kind that you can just dump right over. I would love that, so I wouldn't have to do this every day. But, I don't mind. It's kind of a relaxing job. And then it just kind of drains out and runs down to the end of the barn, into our pet. I wanted to show you one of my favorite views from the farm. So this is our big freestyle barn where most of our milk cows are held. You can see they're eating their breakfast. And then out here, it's just so pretty when the grass is green. So those are our feed bunks over there. Our green bins, you can kind of see them. That's our commodity shed. Tractors, old veal barn. We're actually converting that into a calf barn for the dairy calves. Super excited about that. And then our shop. I just love the view. And over there, you can kind of see that's where Skinny Atlas Lake is. That'd be easier if you just came around, you know. Look, oh, there's my dad. He never wears hats. He just recently started and I think it's a good look. <laughs> this cow's like, no, you, you don't get to look at that. It's an interesting method he has there. He usually watches my videos, so now he knows that I can spy on him. And he never even knew. It's crazy to think my bridal shower is in less than a month. It's like in three weeks from now, and I cannot wait. We are having a pizza truck, an ice cream sundae bar, 
I'm just really excited to celebrate our engagement. I guess that's kind of what it's going to be. And then our wedding's like, oh my god, the wedding is so close because it's in July. So everything's coming right up and it's a really exciting time of year. Bringing down some calf blankets because we're not going to need these anymore. Oh, that's Claudia. Yeah, she's flattening it out. How beautiful. Great job, Cloud. Great job, girl. <laughs> These are their little blankets we put on them in the winter. But since it's 70 degrees out, I don't really need these anymore. Alright, now I brought my pitchfork because they haven't been scraping out the beds that good down here. Oh my god, look at this baby sleeping. Not a baby. Oh my god. She's sleeping. Girl. <laughs> Just making sure you're not dead, okay? Well, you can see there's like some manure on there. They're supposed to scrape it all the way out, so I'm just gonna do it for them. but I'm gonna do some more down here and then when they scrape it out, they scrape it right through there and that's a pit over there. You guys are either gonna think I'm crazy or that I'm lying when I say I love pitchforking manure. There's just something about the physical aspect of it. It's like so rewarding. Can anybody else relate to that or am I just Loving this for no reason. Is she done? <laughs> Looks nice. I thought that was Claudia. I just don't even know who's who anymore. That was my cousin Adam. And this kid's here. Oh well. So this is what the greenhouse looks like when we roll the sides up. Super nice breeze. Calves love it. They're super content in here. That's why I do like the greenhouse because there's the option for that. What? Look at that freak over there. But otherwise in the winter it kind of sucks. Checking to make sure everyone has water because it's a hot day. These babies have never experienced a hot day yet. For those who watched for a while, we you know we had more stews than that. We got them bushed butchered recently and the meat came back and it is so good i don't know if you guys i'm sure you've had black angus before that's what they are and it was really amazing it does feel a little weird eating an animal that you raise i don't know i still really can't get over that part but overall 10 out of 10 for taste i just picked up <laughs> oh, hey. hold on <laughs> Holy crap. <sighs> Sticks her up because I bring my dogs, my dog on a walk every day. And Claudia asked if I go, if she, I could bring Andy. So, be a good auntie. Finally reunited. <laughs> Come on, guys. We're going this way. We're not going near the road. Good job! And Indy is doing 
good. Oh, and Jackie. <laughs> I just put the curtain down for the babies because it's getting kind of cold out. And tomorrow it's actually supposed to snow, which I'm not happy about, but whatever. Um, today we're selling a bunch of our cows. Well, not a bunch, but we're selling 10, which is a lot more than normal. Um, we're just, I kind of came across, they're a little bit overcrowded, um, more than I want to be, so they can hear me out here. We're just going to try to downsize a little bit, and I think we'll make the same amount of milk if they're less crowded. You know what I mean? Even if we have less cows. But um, that's it for this video, I think. Um, thanks for watching my mashup over the couple last couple days, more like the last four days. And I hope you guys have a great day, and thanks for watching.